Hi, it's Friday. We made it for another week of home learning. So well done. And I thought, I know I've already shared this book in the Zoom sessions, but I really like this book. And I know we love this book in Ash Class. And I thought we'd finish the week off with one of our favourites. And it is Dr. Duck. It's one of our favourite stories. So you can join in. Remember when the um, gorilla has the pants popped, you can join in with that funny sound. So, Dr. Duck, here we go. Porcupine was poorly, her nose was wet and dribbly, her head felt full of cotton wool, her legs were weak and wibbly. Her nose began to tiggle and she gave a mighty sneeze and with a whoosh, her spine shot off and rattled through the trees. The zookeeper came rushing in and said, what rotten luck. But don't you worry, porcupine, I've called for Dr. Duck. The doctor gave her cactus juice to help grow back her spines and then two special purple pills for poorly porcupines. Giraffe called out, I poorly too for standing in this breeze. It's made my neck go stiff while I've been nibbling at the trees. I've got a temperature, his snake I'm hot as hot can be. Oh, Doctor, is there something in your big black bag for me? The Doctor put a ladder up beside the tall giraffe, then wrapped the toasty snake around her neck, just like a scarf. Your neck will soon be fine, he said. Now go back to the trees and the snake will feel much better as he cools down in the breeze. Hyena wimped. Please help me too. I'm feeling rather glum. So Dr. Duck tried giving him a tickle on the tum. He whispered in his ear a joke so silly and so daft. Hyena started sniggling, then laughed and laughed and laughed. <gasps> Gorilla shouted, I've got wind. I need some help as well. I'm tooting like a trumpet and I just can't stand the smell. Pee-wee! gasped Dr. Duck. I think this calls for something drastic. These pants will hold the pong in with their extra strong elastic. Doctor, said the keeper, you're a genius. It's true. Porcupine is feeling so much better thanks to you. Giraffe's neck isn't stiff and snake is feeling nice and cool. Hyena can't stop laughing like a wriggly giggly fool. Have you spotted him? Where is he? Oh, let's find out. That's great, said Dr. Duck. Well, I'm going then. Goodbye. No, wait, cried Mr. Keeper. Look, what's that up in the sky? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, no, hyena grinned. Who is it? Can you remember? I think it's poor gorilla with his knickers full of wind. Oh, no. Oh, no, said Dr. Duck. The breeze is blowing him away. Quick, porcupine, I need you. Only you can save the day. He fetched his feather duster and gave his nut her nose a tiggle. She sneezed, achoo, and with a whoosh of flew, her final prickle. Here we go. Ready? Oh, hold on. There we go. Gorilla's pants were punctured with a rude and funny sound. Ready, one, two, three. <laughs> And tra trade trailed clouds of stinky gas. He floated to the ground. Thank you, Dr. Duck, said Mr. Keeper. You're so clever. And everyone agreed he was the greatest doctor ever. Oh, don't go yet, cried Elephant. You've got to help me, please. Ooh, these pages are all stick together. It's probably because we like to read this story, don't we? Here we go. I've got a tickle in my trunk and I think I'm going to achoo! Sneeze! Oh, look at all that snot out of its trunk. Oh, yuck. And there we finish on the page with the gorilla's pants. Now, I hope you made that, I hope this made you smile and give you a happy, happy, happy Friday feeling. I hope you have a lovely weekend and I'll see you next week. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.